Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Beyond Trust has published their latest annual Microsoft Vulnerabilities Report, which I thought was interesting because it is the reported vulnerabilities of 2024. And there's some interesting statistics in this report. And because we do post about security fixes and updates, on the channel, I thought this may be interesting. Now, I'll leave the whole report linked in the description. But if we head to their key findings, there's some interesting stats here. It's mentioned that total vulnerabilities rose to 1,360 in 2024, which is a record high since the report began. And that's an 11% increase from the previous record of 1,000. 292 in 2022 and then they mention the next is the elevation of privilege category accounted for a massive 40 percent 554 of the total vulnerabilities last year now elevation of privilege um, just as a recap what that is all about according to microsoft it results from giving an attacker authorization permissions beyond those initially granted so, for example, an attacker with a privileged set of read-only permissions somehow elevates the set to include read and write. So that's just a brief overview as to what that is all about. And if we just move down um, the key findings, we can see Microsoft Azure and Dynamics 365 vulnerabilities plateaued in 2024. Microsoft Edge, they say, experienced a 17% increase to 292 vulnerabilities last year with 9 critical, which is an 800% jump. So that's quite a, a fast increase. Where in 2022, according to Beyond Trust, there were zero critical vulnerabilities. So that's why that is such a big jump. And critical is a high strength vulnerability, as you may well know. That we talk about on the channel. Here we can see that there were 587 Windows vulnerabilities in 2024. 33 were critical. Windows Server had 684. 43 were critical. But although there are 33 and 43 accounted for both of these uh, different um, Windows products, that's actually a decline, believe it or not. And then Microsoft Office experienced 62 vulnerabilities, almost double that of 2023. So although there is a decline with the critical, not looking too good for Microsoft Office. Now, apparently the chief technology officer of Beyond Trust said that the threat landscape isn't slowing down, it's rapidly evolving. And that's because of Microsoft's so-called cloud and AR services, which can continue to introduce new attack surfaces. So that's like kind of bringing a whole new ball game into the playing field, so to speak. So this is going to be an interesting one to watch. And I thought some of those stats were interesting. Um, and it's also mentioned that new vulnerabilities will emerge as attackers find new and creative ways to bypass defenses. So this is going to be an interesting one to watch and just wanted to put it out there because we do talk about security fixes and updating your browser and updating Windows and so on on the channel and just wanted to give you the stats in case you would be interested. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.